Welcome to Sometime 3. Today we're working with page 29. And today's lesson is called Fractions 26. We're going to talk about estimating products and quotients. The result of a multiplication is called the product. The result of a division is called the quotient. It's important to estimate what the outcome of a multiplication or division will be. If you have an idea of which answer to expect, it helps you recognize obvious errors. We do this by rounding. Remember the rules for rounding. Half or more round up. Less than half round down. In this way, if you're wrong, you'll always be wrong by too much. Let's have a look at some examples. 64 becomes 60 because 4 is less than half between 60 and 70. 65 becomes 70 because 5 is exactly half of 10. 66 becomes 72 because 6 is more than half of 10. And the same applies to fractions. For example, a quarter round down. Two quarters, that's the same as a half, round up. Three quarters, that's more than a half, round up. Four and three-sevenths, well, three-sevenths is less than a half, so we round down to four. Four and four-sevenths, four-sevenths is more than a half, so we round up to five. And five and three-sixths, three-sixths is the same as a half, so we have to round up to six. Rounding to whole numbers makes it easy to estimate products and quotients. For example, 19 and 2 thirds multiplied by 14 and 2 fifths. 19 and 2 thirds, we round up, becomes 20. And 14 and 2 fifths becomes 14. So now we just have to multiply 20 times 14, which gives us 280. Let's see how close we were we're going to make improper fractions. So 19 and 2 thirds multiplied by 14 and 2 fifths becomes 59 over 3 multiplied by 72 over 5, which becomes 4,248 over 15, which becomes 283 and 3 fifteenths. And our estimate was 280, so it wasn't bad. Let's have a look at another one. 21 and 1 third divided by 6 and 5 eighths becomes 21 divided by 7, which is 3. Let's check it out. 21 and 1 third becomes 64 over 3. 6 and 5 eighths becomes 53 over 8. Using the rule we learned last time, when we're dividing, we multiply by the reciprocal so that 64 over 3 divided by 53 over 8 becomes 64 over 3 multiplied by 8 over 53, which is the same as 512 over 159, which is 3 and 35 159ths. Not far off our estimate.